Hi, it's Trishy here and you're watching Thrive with Trish. The place to be to build your confidence and make your dreams happen. So for today's show, I would like to ask you, have you ever experienced where things just didn't go your way or plans didn't turn out as how you had hoped for? If yes, then today's show is for you. For today's episode, here's the question. Hello Trish, greetings from France. Bonjour. Thank you for your motivational videos. You're most welcome. I've been going through some pretty challenging times recently. Nothing seems to be going my way. I'm starting to feel so demotivated or more like a failure. Before I lose my mind, please tell me, what should I do when things are not going according to plan? Thanks a lot, Trish. Sincerely, Karen. For a start, Karen, please breathe. I'm really, really glad you asked this because I'm sure many people can relate to this. Even for myself, just I think like a couple of days ago, I was trying to download some videos, uh, several file videos from my phone onto my laptop and it really pushed me to the limits. I mean, it sounds so simple, but I, I don't know, it was maybe the file was corrupted or some something like that, but I was really like, I would really rip out all my hair. It was driving me nuts, you know. I was um, trying for hours and hours and I had to research and try this and that. But thankfully, I mean, it worked out in the end, but I can totally understand what you mean. I really felt like giving up at one point of time. So personally, whenever I feel like that, I remind myself of my three R's, which helps me get through this. So step number one, that is refresh. Rather than trying to push aside that feeling or trying to just consistently work at whatever that you're working at, how about just take a moment to acknowledge your feelings and step away. Shift your perspective, let your mind refresh. Invite new energy and new strength so that you can have a different perspective later on when you come back to it. Because if you don't acknowledge your feelings and you just bottle it up inside, it's gonna just expand load, you know, like a boiling water, if you put a lid on it, the heat and the pressure will just increase over time and it's just gonna... So rather than doing that, you know, just let it out. Whether you go for a walk, whether you go for um, do laughter yoga or maybe you do square breathing or even watch a comedy, but step away from the problem. And you know, even for me personally, if say that, you know, you're so frustrated then just take a pillow and just scream it out like Yeah, do it! Because like I said, if you just bottle up your feelings, it won't help the situation, number one. And number two, you're just gonna feel worse and worse and you won't get anywhere with anything. So you don't want that to happen. Step number two, re-evaluate. With a calmer mind, you can come back to the problem and you can reassess what is the situation. You can look at what are the things that possibly went wrong, what have you learned from it, and what are the possible new strategies that you can try to attempt at it, you know, give it a go again. You could research by yourself, or you could brainstorm with someone else and plot out all the different strategies that you could possibly try. Step number three, retry. Have courage and patience to try again. But before attempting again, I'd like to share with you excerpts from a poem by Walter Wintle. If you like to win, but you think you can't, it's almost certain you won't. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man. But soon or late, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. So believe in yourself, visualize yourself achieving the goal, and you've already won half the battle. If things still go wrong after several attempts and nothing seems to improve, 
then there is a possibility that maybe one, you don't have the right resources yet or the right skills yet to achieve your goal. Or possibly number two, maybe it's not the right time for you to achieve the goal that you want right now. But I do believe with the right amount of determination, dedication, persistence and willingness to learn, anything is possible. Please don't give up, but practice patience and have faith. Everything will work out at the right time. As a side tip for you or a bit of my own personal experience, sometimes when things don't go your way, it could be just the universe's way of trying to lead you towards something better. So what happened was a couple of years ago, um, I when I wanted to change jobs and I was looking for a job within the hotel industry, I was applying to many, many jobs and trying like day and night. And I, I don't know, I just got so many rejections. It was of course very demotivating at that point of time. And um, I even thought to myself that, hey, maybe this is just not for me. But like I said, we all go through this whenever we are faced with failure or when things are not going our way. So, but for myself, I always remind myself of these three R's that I just shared with you. And I persisted and I continued to um, apply. But before I did that, I actually reevaluated my resume. I tweaked um, and improved it in, in what way that I could. And I also reassessed what are the positions that I was applying for, whether or not it was really a good fit for me and whether or not um, I was a good fit for the position. So with that in mind, then I, I narrowed down the positions that I was applying for. Thankfully, finally, I did get a, a position in a boutique hotel and I can only say I'm so grateful to finally get that, this job because not only did I end up really loving this job that I got, I also ended up crossing paths with the love of my life, which the man who is my husband right now. So I can only say sometimes whether or not you believe in God or not, it's, it's okay. But I'm a Christian, so only to share with you there's a saying and it goes like this god works in mysterious ways and he does sometimes the universe does so practice patience and have faith sometimes when one opportunity closes maybe there are other better opportunities waiting for you i truly hope this helps and it has lifted up your spirits a little bit and i hope that you will crush your goals soon so let's conclude today with a nugget of wisdom. Life can happen, but it can't take away your power to decide what you make of it. Now, I'd like to hear from you. What do you do when things don't go your way? I'd love to hear from you and learn from you. So do share with me now, either in the comments below or over at my website, my blog, trishandco.com. Over at my website, do sign up for my Trish exclusive newsletter to get insider tips, updates, promos, free giveaways, and powerful insights from myself, which I don't share anywhere else. Also, if you have any problems that you would like to overcome, any challenges or any parts of your life that you would like to improve, then do feel free to write to me under the page, Ask Trish Anything, and I will personally get back to you with some powerful, actionable steps. I'll also place that link below in the description. So, did you like this episode? If yes, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my uplifting channel. Also, I would really be grateful if you would share this with your friends. It would mean the world to me. Live strong and have courage to create a life you love because your happiness matters. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time on Arrive with Trish.
Interesting question. If you could eat one food, just one, for the rest of your life, what would that be? For me, it would be dark chocolate. Why? No, there's no why. It just tastes really good.